Hey guys, this is Adam here again, coming to you from uh, inside our workspace in uh, Mississauga, Ontario. Uh, in today's video, we'll be recapping uh, what we did over the last couple weeks uh, with project team building, uh, with our project bike, as you see here, and uh, some of the other more uh, personal updates that I wanted to share. It's been a couple weeks since we put out a recap video of uh, what we were doing uh, on the bike. Uh, we intended to put out weekly update videos, but I may have underestimated the time it takes to uh, film, edit, uh, and publish these videos. Thanks to all the photographers and videographers who uh, have helped me and given me tips on uh, how to film, how to edit, uh, and uh, everything that uh, you know it takes to put stuff like this together. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you are a videographer or an editor and uh, would like to help us out and be a part of the project, feel free to hit us up at uh, info at projectteambuilding.com and uh, let us know how you might be able to volunteer some time or even if it is a paid service, uh, we're willing to discuss any options. So uh, hit us up. Uh, as you can see, we started working on our project bike, our uh, 1980 Honda CB750F. Um, the project participants, uh, a few of them did swing by here in the shop uh, and worked with me on uh, removing some of the uh, stock components off the back end. And uh, we started to work on uh, hooking everything back up, getting the battery charged and attempting to fire up this bike. Uh, here's a little bit of the work that we've been doing over the last couple weeks. If you follow our social media pages, you would have seen that we had a big milestone achieved a few days ago. Uh, we had uh, our most recent project participants call with a few of the guys in attendance, uh, and we attempted to uh, get this bike fired up. Uh, here's how that went. A few moments later. It may not be off for long. Take it in while you can. Alright, sorry, we can't hear you guys. You're talking. Give us a second. We got a running bike! 
as you can see, we're super stoked to have the bike running. Uh, and now we can focus on uh, getting the bike torn down a little more and to start working on all of the components uh, that are necessary to start on. Uh, we continued our discussion on uh, what direction the bike uh, build is going to be going in. Thanks to everybody who provided uh, feedback and input on uh, what they'd like to see for the build. We think that we've narrowed it down to a combination of a cafe racer style uh, with uh, you know some tracker elements. Uh, here's a few examples here, uh, something like this uh, or this, uh, maybe even something like this. We're just going to continue to talk about each individual component and we'll work through you know customizing the entire bike to the liking of our participants and the uh, larger motorcycle community as a whole. The last update involves something a little more personal. Uh, as you know, this project is funded by Movember and the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride uh, as a mental health initiative to promote the message of positive mental health uh, and to talk about things like uh, suicide prevention and promoting uh, mental health and well-being. We have been focusing a lot of our time uh, in our participants' calls on our project build and the direction of the bike. Uh, so this week I decided to start our call with just giving our guys an update on uh, what's been going on with me specifically uh, with my own mental health. The truth is uh, I have had my own uh, mental health uh, flip a little bit in the last few weeks. I've experienced a few of the symptoms that I know with my depression that come when uh, things are not going uh, as great as usual. Uh, things like irritability, um, you know, my diet slipping a little bit, um, you know, disconnecting from uh, family and friends, uh, and a few other things. Um, you know, I may have underestimated the amount of work it takes to start a, uh, a nonprofit or a business like this. Um, it is uh, an incredible amount of work and there are a number of components that I didn't even consider when putting forward the project. Uh, things like formal agreements and legal documents and financial stuff and insurance and so on and so forth. I recognize that I may not handle stress uh, as well as I may have in the past uh, or it could be the fact that we are in a continued state of uh, uneasiness uh, with the world uh, and the pandemic and everything else that's going on. I uh, truly appreciate everybody's support uh, in following along and uh, you know to just uh, be easy on me and uh, just know that we're, uh, we're doing the best we can under the circumstances. Uh, so thanks again. A few days ago uh, on September 10th or however long ago that was uh, from the time of you watching this video, uh, was World Suicide Prevention Day. Uh, I've become pretty well versed on the topic of suicide prevention uh, through my involvement with Movember and the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride over the years. And as I mentioned previously, it's the reason I started to participate in Movember and the DGR uh, because of their involvement and focus on reducing the stigma associated with uh, mental illness and to hopefully reduce the numbers of suicides in men um, into the future. If you're not familiar with the current statistics, uh, one in five people globally will uh, experience some sort of mental illness in their lifetime. Uh, 4,000 Canadians every year die uh, of suicide. Uh, and most surprisingly, it's uh, one man per minute globally will die of suicide. And also unfortunately, three out of four suicides will be men. Uh, that's why Movember is putting uh, a lot of resources into the mental health and suicide prevention cause, uh, funding programs like ours to promote the message that we have to stay on top of our mental health uh, and to do whatever we can to make sure that we uh, stay mentally strong. When I discussed my own uh, struggles with our participants the other day, uh, it actually started a conversation. Uh, people asked me questions. Uh, and that's really one of the main things that you can do to support someone who is struggling. Uh, just reach out to them and try to understand uh, where they're coming from um, and you know what they're struggling with uh, specifically and if there's anything that you could do to help. As you know, I'm not a professional uh, anything. Uh, videographer, editor, uh, YouTube host, bike builder, uh, or even business owner. Uh, but I've embraced uh, all these new roles in my life 
uh, and I'll continue to work on them and uh, work through all the challenges uh, associated with them. Once again, I want to thank my uh, awesome project team, Caius, Fawad, Ken, and Paul, uh, seen here in this epic, previously unreleased uh, picture by our good buddy, Dan Lim. I want to thank him for, uh, you know, keeping me on track when uh, my mind wanders a little bit and I become uh, a little more difficult to deal with. I'm going to continue to do the things that I know uh, will benefit my own mental health. Uh, and I'm also going to make sure that I have more realistic expectations uh, so that I don't become overwhelmed uh, as often. Stay tuned over the next few weeks as we continue to work on our project bike and to provide more updates for you guys uh, as we go on. If you would like to help uh, our bike build in any way, uh, make sure you reach out to us on our email uh, or through our social media and uh, let us know how uh, you'd like to help. Thanks again for watching another episode of Project Team Building and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.